Hi, David. Um, thank you for coming to talk to us today about uh, what you've been doing in the uh, online and social media space at RS Components. Um, and you were talking to us today about how you've um, uh, dealt with um, engineers who essentially see themselves as antisocial. Yes. You know, how, how have you gone about doing that? Well, if you asked a lot of um, engineers about social media, their immediate thoughts around I guess the famous social media channels such as Twitter and Facebook and a lot of them aren't really engaged there. So if you actually ask them you know, do they use the, uh, the internet for finding technical information or finding solutions to problems, well the answer is probably yes they do. Um, if you ask them do they um, ever have conversations online i.e. through uh, blogs or forums, well actually they do that as well, they're quite comfortable with that. So therefore they, what they don't realise they're actually being social already. You know, social is about conversing through virtual channels. And so, you know, one of the things I talked today about was designspark.com. And what we've done is created a community of, for design engineers in a way that actually they feel comfortable using. So we've provided them with forums and blogs and methods to comment and rate and share um, in a way that they're comfortable with. We don't say it's social media, we say it's a place for them. And, and how have you linked in DesignSpark with the RS Components brand? Well, that's in, again, um, RS Components has a very strong brand. Uh, we took the decision um, that we would create a sub-brand of the RS brand. Um, RS um, Online is, is about um, commerce and purchase, as you would imagine. It's an e-commerce business. Um, but there is a requirement from our customer base to find extra information, technical information, and generally they go elsewhere for that. So we built an area that people could go to, and we've branded that slightly differently in, in, in the, you know, the Design Spark brand, as I mentioned before. Um, however, we absolutely tell people it's powered by RS. RS uh, is, is the name behind it. We're providing this service um, for our customer base. And what have been the challenges for you? You've been very successful, but I assume it hasn't been easy. Well, we were lucky in some respects that um, so, you know, social media was, has really just been taking off in the last few years. So the awareness of, of, of social, um, what that may look like to different people, obviously it varies, but there's much more of an awareness of it. So when we're talking about the, the social aspects, people understand what we're talking about. However, when you're trying to do this in a business to business environment, there's always uh, the thought about how does this activity lead through to revenue. Um, so what we've had to do is obviously show that actually there's, there's more to, uh, or there's, there's other met metrics other than revenue, such as brand awareness, relationship with your, um, with your potential customers, um, insight in, and the value that they bring through conversation with you. Um, and obviously then look to move that through to revenue or to some sort of commerce in the future.